Hey buddies, it's your girl I Christine, and today we are back with some Steven Universe. Number one, to answer your hard-hitting questions, did I do hand boning to my husband? Yes, I did. Many, many times. I even taught it to my daughter, and it is a thing we do now in this household, where we do that hand boning. And then we start attacking each other and hand boning each other. So, well, maybe we'll, uh, I'll, I'll come back to you on that. Um, number two, check out the links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel and to get uncut reactions to this series. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Oh, I didn't even tell you what we're watching. We're watching Steven Universe season one, episode 45. This is Rose's Scabbard. I don't know what that means, but let's see. This place is even bigger and more weapony than I remember. Mm. This was the site of a historic battle. Every weapon here was left by a gem over 5,000 years ago. Oh my goodness, do they not need it? it? But Garnet said we can't just leave these lying around. Oh, that makes sense. <sighs> Never know when you might need one of these. I need one of those all the time! No, you don't. Why don't you look for one that's more... you? Okay. Or smaller. Ryan, come help me look. Aw, oh, come on. He wants to really look for... Oh, this is where they fought. Does it? So this is where they. Why'd you yell it? Even to Garnet and Amethyst. Oh. Rose had a place that she kept hidden from all but me. Knowing she so to keep hidden from idolized trying to protect her and everyone except me. <laughs> I don't like her energy Welcome about it. Like I feel like yes, taking pride in the fact that you are a confidant for somebody is good. But like look at her face. You must be thinking of someplace else. Some... I'm the only other crystal gem who's ever witnessed the Yeah, you see there's there's something a little different here. Not her, he wait, he has to poke. Why does he have to poke himself? Oh, yeah, in lion. In lion. How did it get in there? I don't know, but there's a ton of stuff in there. I keep stuff in him, too. It's no. Yeah, it is. Not. Look, see. So he does know. Leave me alone. So this is essentially like her amethyst episode where she, you know what? Oh goodness. Girl, wait for me. It's like a a past hurt that they're dealing with and they get a little Girl. Yeah, relax. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay. You are not going to make that jump. She's sitting down, though? I'm surprised she wasn't going to help him. She normally Girl. is overly protective of him. Girl, you have to tell me what's wrong. Sometimes I hear the sound of it. Really? Do you like this place? How? It's the love she had for her. Everything I ever did, I did for her. Now 
she's gone. Mm. But I'm still here. Sometimes I wonder if she can see me through her eyes. Oh, like if you can still. Oh, like connection. Yeah, because since she gave birth, she had to disappear. Oh, yeah, it's the fact that he's got to hold his breath to get in there. Oh, like other things. Is the lion watching or sleeping? Yeah, the lion's sleeping. Not him having drinks in there. He's like his own little, um, his backpack. He don't need the hamburger backpack anymore. Or cheeseburger backpack. Okay, so let's just, let's talk for a little bit. One, um, I think that she, it, I, she had a deep friendship with her, but did it also, there was obviously a love and an admiration. I don't know if it was just a plutonic or if it dipped inside of like a romantic love as well that she may have had for her. Um, it, it, I feel like you can get to such an extreme amount of admiration and love for somebody that it can be to the line of romantic, you know, like it can be very, very strong and plutonic, um, but to the line of romantic where if somebody doesn't know, they would think that there's romance, right? If some an outside person looking in may think that it's romance, but it could just be a deep, profound love and admiration for somebody else. Kind of like your sister or something like that, you know? Or your friend or your brother or whatever. <gasps> Excuse me. So, or when somebody is not blo a blood relative and you love them like a sister is what I mean, or like a brother or like a family member, you know? Um, or better or even more than a family member um this episode was beautiful it showed it, it was a way for us to get a lens into what rose meant to pearl um and kind of the team a little bit but i i do want to you know i want to get this type of perspective from each of them i want to get one from um garnet i want to get one from amethyst like what is their perspective of working with or being friends with or under the tutelage of Rose. Um, I think it's really good that we are getting more and more of Rose or uh, of Steven's mom and getting more of the story. And I'm hoping that this continues and persists throughout the season and the series as a whole. I'm loving that we're getting a little bit more of a serial like vibe, you know, it's less episodic, more character building, a little bit more of a serialized plot happening a little bit. And I'm, I'm just I'm hoping that it continues to build. I want the Owl House effect. That's that, that's what I love from I love animations that have the Owl House effect. Go ahead and tantalize me and tease me at the beginning with cuteness and wackiness and weirdness, but have a serialized plot brewing underneath that we get vapors of at first and then we're starting to steep in it and i i loved that about our house and i have a feeling we're getting kind of there they're starting to touch my heart more you know so i am looking forward to the rest of the series let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section uh links down below to become a member or patron to get the uncut reaction to this series i love you guys as always and until next time buddies toodles <laughs>